On today's episode, we're heading south to Alegria to prevent something that happened a couple of weeks ago. Where my friends at the Alegria Dive Resort found a dead, critically endangered hawksbill turtle trapped in a fisherman's net. So our mission today is to go south and try to prevent that happening again. Good morning. Grabbing some of the scuba gear, we're heading down south to Alegria and then even further south to Hostel La Vista, Charlie's place. And we're gonna be doing a cleanup. Lately, there have been done some researches around the reef there. They've been taking some pictures, checking the state of the reef. So we found out it's not in a good state. There's a lot of nets, ghost nets and uh, yeah, just rubbish that needs to be cleaned up because it's covering a lot of big portions of corals, so it's killing them. We'll also be joined by the Department of Natural Resources from Argao, I think, and um, I like a dive resort, and then some other divers, I believe. So it's gonna be full team, full day of, uh, yeah, helping. <laughs> Let's go. We're, ha we're halfway there. No, it's not halfway there. We did not even. I wait. just checked Google Maps, we're halfway there. Oh. So you don't wanna borrow a mask. I don't want it because it doesn't fit in my face. All right, anything else you forgot? That's all, sorry. I also brought your gloves. Thank you, but and I also brought gloves already. <laughs> and mask. Okay, anything else? Apple. That's it. Okay, so promise no more trips back. No more. This was the second trip back, by the way. Let's try to go to Alegria. <laughs> what did you forget, Oi? Allah! What? What did you forget? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Okay. Well, to be fair, it was both of us. Here's your dive computer. Thank you so much. Here's mine, so... How many okay, times I, I forgot one thing. Minor, Mine. only the most important. So we're fair now. No, you <laughs> forgot two. No three, you forgot three. The phone, you ran back and forth and then you forgot your mask and you forgot your computer. <laughs> I only forgot one. Three for you, one for me. <laughs> Hey, well, let's go. Ah, let's <laughs> go back. Please, not more back and forth. <laughs> I said blessing in disguise. Okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, breakfast time. We bought some eggs in 7 Eleven. Eat that on the way, and I'll see you at Lee's place. We're gonna pick up some of our gear before we head to Hostel La Vista. Charlie. I'm headed to Alegria the Resort, picking up some of my gear, loading all the tanks. Then we go to Costa La Vista. You have your wetsuit? Yep. We're back at Lee's place and we just came from Charlie's place, so we've been going back and forth again because the first dive is starting from here and the second dive is at Charlie's place. We just brought all the gear into the car and now we gotta get the gear again out of the car and over there. <laughs> what is happening with this day? Everything is back and forth. It's okay. I know, it's just funny. Oh, well. it's a lot of exercise, heavy stuff. That's a positive. All right. So welcome to the world of underwater, Charlie. I'm now a scuba diver. Yeah. 
but I'm still a free diver, don't mind. Okay, I stay true to the free diving. Hey, <laughs> First night dive yesterday. With a beautiful 200 bar. There you go. 200. bar. Yeah, he's a man. that joy in 10 minutes. Okay, so here's what's going on. We're gonna gear up, go into the ocean, and we're gonna try to find ghost nets. We sort of cleared out this area previously with uh, when a boat came here and a big group of local government units and they cleared up 200 kilos of fish nets. What we found also here in the fish nets that are stuck at the bottoms by the corals, they've uh, actually killed a couple of turtles here. And uh, we speak a lot and showcase a lot of turtles because not only are they incredibly beautiful, but however, they are so fragile in the ecosystem because each turtle, if they want to repopulate, it takes up to 30 years for them to mature. And after 30 years, they can spawn eggs. We're gonna go into the boat and then uh, sail further south. We've already had some pictures of areas where we wanna go remove stuff, we found some. And uh, I guess the next shot is just gonna be us on the water and see what we find. Conservation guys, helping the ocean, helping the fisherman. Yes, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> trying to retrieve that ghost net underneath and yeah we remove it from the corals because you know these things are really bad in the coral if they stay longer then. So basically it's not like a normal rope line it's actually encrusted everywhere and there's a lot of it. First dive we're going to go down to whatever we've got we've got open water, open water, open water so it's going to be no more than 18 meters. Wow! We got perfect conditions today. Glassy, flat, no wind, no better day to die. Alright, so we made it to Charlie's place over there and we're gonna go take care of his reef just outside of uh, his uh, resort.
Now the reason why you see me upside down at the shot is because I want to make sure I'm not touching the corals, keeping a perfect buoyancy or even floating upside down. Because with these types of hard corals, they're very fragile. This way, we remove the trash in a safe way. I don't know if you can see on these clips, but after removing some of the trash, you can see under them a white patches of coral, and that area is basically dead. And the reason why we're doing this is because these corals can take up to decades to grow. They might not look big, but the amount of time it takes for grow is incredible. That's a lot. Yeah. Boy. Uncle Joe Uncle Joe is cooking a chicken. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Joe's recipe. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Joe. Uh. You know what? Someone is not eating it. <laughs> She's a vegetarian. A vegetarian. Vegetarian. A BG. Veggie. What's for lunch? Chicken. 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 Woo! You got that. I'm burning my face. <laughs> you know what's cool about this grill? It's a half barrel. Barrel grill. Mm. Yummy, Kayo. Well, Whoa, they're racing. Yeah. After lunch, we head out for the second dive. And if you thought the first dive was a bit extreme, wait until we see what we find now. At first we see a lot of clothes and cloth scattered around the corals. Same with these ones, we gotta be extra careful by removing it because these corals are quite fragile. see the big one. Loads of tires, ropes and some rubber things wrapped around a huge coral bone. Now we're also very careful what we remove because uh, some of the fishermen there use these ropes for their fishing even though it's not allowed to attach to corals. And even though it's the fishermen that put these out there and they're, they're probably the ones that destroy it most of the time, we also want to help them out in some way because we got respect for their livelihoods and how they put food on the plate. However this one we could see that this was no longer used. The ropes didn't even reach the surface, so it was just left there. One of the most difficult parts about removing this was the thick tires wrapped around the coral. And it took at least 10-15 minutes just to cut through one piece to release it. And I'll tell you what, this was tough.
finally when we're running out of air we collected all the debris into a one pile attached it to our buoy to float up to the surface because frankly we couldn't even hold it up it was so heavy so we had to use our floating device to shoot it up to the surface Despite the scenery and the dramatic shots, you might think the whole reef is like this, but that's not the case. We just found this one area of the reef that was, well, not so good shape with trash. And if you look around the reef, it's absolutely gorgeous and some parts of it I haven't even seen like it before. It was that beautiful. And lastly, I must say Philippines in general is very lucky how amazing reef they have. Wow. All right, well, let's see. It's the clock. 3.25 and we just brought in all of the rest of the uh, trash that we found, about two hour dive. We are estimating about 150, 200 kilos of trash. Heaviest ones are obviously the tires and these thick, thick rubber. I don't know what the hell this is, but they use these ones to attach around a beautiful coral boom bumps and um, they must have been ancient because they have been used for quite some time it seems as well some uh, very old traps ropes everywhere and uh, yeah we just cleared that up are you hungry Okay, we're heading back. We're seeing dolphins in the distance, so we're gonna try to catch up with them.